2027, I am ready to lead coalition against Tinubu and APC. Atiku says, <laughs> this man never tire. Now, wow, Atiku, you want to lead coalition in 2027. So this coalition of political parties, Abi, that is the problem. So you want to be president at all costs. So even when you bring all political parties together in a coalition against uh, Atiku and APC, you are... You, you you will still be the lead. Why must you be the lead? Are you not tired? Why not go and rest? Must you be the president? I don't understand. Yeah? So you've got so much money to waste. Or you just just a middle syndrome. You just want to be president at all costs, whether you have anything to offer or not. This is greed. This desperation is is suspicious and probably not not to the interest of Nigerians, I'm sure. Okay. Um, so Atiku insists only United Opposition Force can salvage Nigeria. Okay, oh. uh, he congratulated PDP Opposition Party governors over Supreme Court victory. Okay, are you sure that was not a deliberate attempt to have peace in the country? Because if some of those cases are upturned by the Supreme Court, another another round of violence will start in those states. Okay, so the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party in the 2023 general election. Atiku Abubakar has expressed willingness to lead a coalition of opposition parties to oust the ruling of Progressive Congress APC come 2027. He said this in a congratulatory message to governors of the PDP whose elections were upheld by the Supreme Court on Friday. <laughs> yeah, uh, people like uh, Eno, Governor Eno of Akwaibom State, Moftwang of uh, Plateau State, and uh, the the uh, Caleb, oh, that is Motuang, Caleb Motuang is for State, and the Dauda Lawal of uh, Zamfara State. All of these got their victories. So, in a statement signed by his media office in Abuja, he described the decision of the court as a good news for the people of Bauchi, Plateau, Cross Rivers, and Zamfara State and the Kwai Bomb State as well, and indeed a win for constitutional democracy. So the PDP presidential candidate also congratulated the governor of Kano State, Governor Abba Yusuf, of the new Nigerian People's Party, reaffirming his position that only a united opposition force can strengthen democracy in Nigeria. Atiku was quoted as saying, I am as prepared as ever to lead the charge alongside all our leaders and governors for the good of our country. Hmm. This is not an agenda you are, you, are, you are trying to create. So according to him, where justice is seen to have been substantially rendered, we as patriots and citizens, we always applaud it. Atiku equally said that by the verdict of the Apex Court, there is a guaranteed continuation of the standards of good governance which uh, the PDP has brought to the respective uh, states. So he urged the respective PDP governors, namely Bala Mohamed of Bauchi, Dauda Lawal of Zamfara, Kale Motwang of Plateau State, and Pastor Omoen of Akwaibom State to see their wins at the Supreme Court as an opportunity to consolidate and expand the scope okay, of the good governance they have already established. Atiku noted that with the electioneering phase now concluded, he is certain that the PDP will now be able to focus on its role as the major opposition party in the country, with the party's able governors at the helm along with his humble uh, self. <laughs> hey, now for this man, no, Atiku. So Atiku is talking about PDP, when PDP is huh? You are there, and people like Daniel Buala, have run back from PDP back to to APC. And uh, Shegu Shewumi in Ogun State is also ready to run from PDP back to uh, back to APC. He is already shouting to Wala to keep his space for him. Eh? You are there as a leader, yourself and Jonathan, who was the former president of that same PDP platform, are keeping quiet and people like Enwike is destroying and it's a G5 governor's counterpart destroying uh, the party. So the party right now is dead. The PDP is dead. You are dead at Tiku and, and uh, good luck. Meanwhile, the problem of Fubara in River State 
which is supposed to be a PDP problem, it has escalated to a point where the president, who is a, an APC man, has taken charge of that case and already turned it to uh, a windfall for APC. So this guy, I don't, I don't think Atiku is the right person to be the president of Nigeria. He's free to contest. He has the money. He has everything at his at his disposition to contest. No problem with that. But with the way they have managed PDP, it's obvious that they can't manage Nigeria well anymore. That is the truth. Atiku will not be able to manage Nigeria anymore. I think Atiku's desperation is getting to a point where everyone now thinks that either he wants to recover all the money that he has spent in politics all these years, or he just wants to register his name as Nigerian president, one time Nigerian president, just like uh, Tinubu is doing right now. So his desperation is just off the roof. Coupled with the fact that uh, a Fulani man are in the place of uh, Buhari had ruled Nigeria for eight years, and that was the slot for the north. Now it is a slot for the south. Okay. And now you want to truncate it. And actually, this is the problem between him and Wiki. Because when PDP did the gentleman agreement for the presidency to come to the south, Atiku went and played the northern politics and then scuttled it using uh, um, uh, the former governor of Sokoto State. Uh, okay. That is, uh, what is that guy's name? To, to truncate the PDP presidential primaries. Okay. That is uh, Tambua, Governor Tambua then. Okay, so with all of these plays that are playing now, we are not expecting another Northerner to come and uh, you know truncate this eight years that's supposed to be for the South. Even though everybody's complaining that Tinubu is not the right person to be there, but at the same time, well, it will also not be a right thing for a Northerner and a full animal for that matter to come and truncate the eight years of the Southern slot. Wait until after the uh, the you know the eight years of the South. Okay, and if somebody is to oust Tinubu out of office by 2027, it must not be a northerner, not a talk of a Fulani man for that matter. It has to be another southerner. That is how it's supposed to be. So with the way things are, it is um, obvious that Atiku's desperation is off the roof and is something else. So I think he has to go and rest, go and resolve the problem of PDP first, and then go and allow South to complete their eight years. And all these northern agenda, the foreign agenda, with the way he played the PDP presidential primaries to win the PDP ticket, shows that there is a northern agenda against the South in this matter. So, Atiku, <laughs> so if you form a coalition, who is going to join you to form coalition now for you to become the leader and the president? Because it means that even in that coalition, you don't want somebody like Peter Obi. To, to be the presidential candidate. You also would not want someone like Kokwansu to be the presidential candidate. You would not want people who Nigerians are trying to see as people who can help to salvage the country to be because you want to be president and you want everybody to line up behind you. He can continue like that. He can continue like that. So I think we're leading a coalition. That is not a bad, plan to, bad thing to lead a coalition, but for him to say he will lead it, okay, for him to say he will lead it is a problem that I have. That is it. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment over what article is planning to do.